please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will always get an alert when a new video drops. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Raised by a single mother. And my father lived with us. In this special edition of Buddha on a Block, we have the legend, Barry Ribs. How you doing, Barry? Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, but if you really want to know the answer, you would need about three hours. Who is Barry Ribs? Who is Barry Ribs? The older gentleman who's been fortunate to be on this planet since the 50s. And I am a father. I am an entertainer. And... I think the years on the planet have made me somewhat wise. Does that answer you? How long have you been doing comedy professionally? I started my career in 94, but I've actually been acting up in first grade. But professionally, 1994, February, and this February will be 29 years. But no fame and fortune yet. I'm too old for this. <laughs> At the count of three, let's sing along. <laughs> These hoes ain't loyal. What do you feel sets you apart from other comedians? That's an, an excellent question. I think, considering that the average age is 30, um, there's very few, there's a lot of older than me that are retired, dead, or semi-retired. I work, I'm out there on the streets like as if I'm a teenager. I do pace myself. I do pace myself. I work at this point, I work smart because I got a lot of experience and I hate to say it, but I'm not working for the chump money anymore. Um, it is true that virtually nobody comes out to see me, but they are going to pay for my years of crafting my material. I, after all, I can do 60 minutes now. I tape the special. We'll see what goes on with that. Right now it's on hold, but I taped the special uh, just a few months ago, my first special. Congratulations. I want to thank the lesbians for taking some of the ugly bitches off our hands. How do you know when it was time to start charging for your time? I started as an urban comedian 20 years ago this December, and I never looked for money. The veterans before me they made a decision collectively and individually when it was time to pay Barry. So I never said, hey, yo, where's my money? Nope. They paid me when they felt I was ready. I'm finding that out now myself, starting a comedy. There's a lot to learn, but the game has changed. People want to come into the game and they want shortcuts and they want to be rich and famous in a very short period of time. They're, they're, they're motivated differently. A real comedian is called. A lot of these younger people are not called who are, some, who are some of the comedians you enjoy working with? Wow. So when it comes to lists, or if anybody watches this, they're going to go, hey, how about me? Blah, 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 blah. I'll just generalize by saying I like to work with comedians that I respect that they are old school, developing like the people before us, the people that started out in the 50s, 60s, 70s, etc. Those are my heroes. My uncle was a comedian. He probably started in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. So I have been, I've grown up in the business. In the 70s, I was out in L.A. at the Comedy Store watching the Robin Williams, the Gary Shandlings, 
the Arsenio Halls. They are all my role models, man. They got into it and took their time and did their reps or whatever. So the short, the shorter answer to your question is, I like working with people who really respect the craft of stand-up. They're on time. They're good energy. They're not talking shit behind their colleagues. They say the good die young. I must be a piece of shit. Okay, the beginning of your career? I'll tell you this. I started in mainstream and then eight years later, accidentally, I found out about the urban circuit. I knew nothing about it. And let me tell you something. Those urban veterans who had their own room, they gave me pointers and I watched them. And I don't mind mentioning a few names, but before I start on the urban side, my mainstream mentor, my first mentor, was a woman named Gladys Simon. And Gladys Simon is very well known in New York. And she gave me some pointers my first five years. Then eight years in, I became an urban comedian and I learned and watched dudes like Comedian Imagine, Kenny Williams, Brooklyn Mike, Sink Sinkler, many others. Capone gave me stage time. I am indebted to all those dudes and others that gave me the stage. And I put in the reps and my God-given talent and my natural funny has all come together. And that's why in the big cities, amongst my colleagues, I'm known. But I'm primarily known in the New York, New Jersey, Philly, Connecticut area. That's really where I'm known in the industry. But if it wasn't for all those dudes, plus that I didn't mention, I wouldn't be sit here, sitting here being interviewed. Within the next five years. Well, I am planting some seeds with my acting, okay? And I think my acting is really going to change my career. I'm in a I'm in a film that's in a festival. It's coming up at the end of this month called 16 Miles North, a tiny part. But I'm very excited about being in a web series called Mooney. I think that, from what I see on set one day, I think that has the potential for me to be noticed. I did my scenes. So I think in the next five years, my acting, it's going to be a combination of stuff, but I think my acting is going to create a buzz about me, and then I'll get into headlining, probably uh, B-level, C-level sort of clubs. So I think in the next five years, I'll be known on the small screen, the large screen, and headlining around the country. And I can see that happening in the next five years. That sounds so exciting. No doubt about it. Um, I, haven't, I haven't rushed. See, I believe God, and that's on my shirt here somewhere. God is the executive producer. So I just, um, anything that happens, it's all about God. I'm very spiritual that way. But at the same time, as we said earlier, I do need to pace myself. A lot of these young people are working their asses off, man. Uh, they got agents or whatever who are trying to get money off of them and working their asses off. So in a way, it's good that I don't have any agent, management or whatever to push me because, like I said, I got to pace myself so I give out my best performance. Is there anyone you haven't had a chance to work with? You're talking about famous, right? Yes. There's a ton of them, but... 
I have been blessed to work with D.L. Ugly almost 15 times now. Yo, major, major highlight slash association. I have shared the mic. Um, is there somebody? You know what would be really cool? There's the kings of comedy, and there's one king. I've worked with DL and I've worked with Cedric. If by chance I'd work with Steve Harvey, that would be cool, but no, there isn't anybody on my radar. I prefer now, finally, to focus on the headliner, and perhaps someday people will want a feature for me. I've worked with a lot of famous ones, a lot, but that's for another one. And dudes, listen up, and when you get older, the only thing that gets hard is life. <laughs> comedians that you think we should be looking out for? There is many of them and I hesitate to even mention one name because like I said before they'll go hey how come you didn't remember blah 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 but you know what I'll just say one dude man that I think is terrific I'm a big fan of his he's, been, he's a veteran uh, rest in peace David Arnold he was getting his roses now, and unfortunately, he just passed. So there's a case in point, and I'm not familiar with his work. I, I wish I had seen him live. Um, so there's a lot of dudes who you asked me who to watch out for. I would say there are five years and 30 years that the public don't know. There's so many. So I'll just say Brian Scott McFadden comes to mind who I think is a great stand-up. Let people know how they can follow or even book you. Um, the easiest way is on social media. That's all I will say. So you can find me on Facebook. You see my name there, Barry Ribs. You can message me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Um, that's basically the three platforms. And um, We'll talk, you know what I mean? That's the way to contact on social media. Thank you so much, Mr. Ribs. Thank you so much for having me. Good night, you're a great crowd, Barry Ribs. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will always get an alert when a new video drops.